Chris has been stealing compulsively for the last 10 to 12 years. We are afraid our son is a kleptomaniac. Why do you steal like this? Because I feel I can get away with it. This behavior is destroying his life. Chris steals pretty much two or three times a week. The stealing began when Chris was about eight years old. We went into a retail store and he stole a small back scratcher. Chris has even stolen from me cash, credit cards, gift cards, and then gotten on the computer and ordered things. He has stolen from stores at least 25 times he's been caught. We found this C magnetizer under Chris's bed. It's used to get CDs out of their cases. Chris has never been formally arrested for stealing, but he's been taken into custody numerous times. Chris never admits that he has stolen anything unless he is caught red-handed. We've been told by many stores that they do not prosecute anyone under the age of 18. The problem is they tell us this right in front of Chris. That gives Chris the message that he can continue this behavior and there's no repercussions. He has stolen video games, DVDs, Blu-ray discs, pocket watches, sunglasses, wallets, cell phones. Chris has stolen at least $12,000, $13,000 from different stores. He steals from neighbors. He steals from people from school. He's stolen a dirt bike from a neighborhood kid. He stole a Kindle tablet from a classmate. Chris went into my husband's closet and stole $1,700 in cash. I wanted to beat the hell out of him, but I knew that wouldn't be the right thing to do. Nothing is safe with Chris around. This is a safe that Christopher broke into. He pried it. He tried to get a screwdriver in underneath it, I believe. He has a hammer and he had a drill. It was damaged to the point where it's unrecoverable. We are desperate for help for our son. My biggest fear is that he'll end up in prison. Chris needs a huge wake-up call. Okay, this kid shoplifts three, four times a week. Yeah. yeah, he takes things from people and he just thinks that he's entitled to it. He thinks that, oh, what, what did I do wrong? And, and yeah, I just, he doesn't get it. Just, okay, but do you actually believe that he doesn't make the connection when he says, what did I do wrong? Do you think we're dealing here with somebody that doesn't connect? What's wrong is, I don't own this. Someone else does. I took it. That's not right. Yes, we... we do you think he really doesn't connect that up? We don't know. I mean, we turn, try to turn things around. Like, if he has a, a cell phone or if he has a play, a game, a handheld game, how would you like it if you sat that down and when you came back to pick it up, it wasn't there and somebody took it? How would you feel about that? I don't know. But he, you've taken him by the ear back to the store. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. We always hold him accountable for what you've he's done. You've taken him back and made him confess. Right. And they've chewed him out. Right. Scared then, the bejeebers out of him. Right. And then they okay. back that up with, but we can't prosecute because you're under 18. Uh -huh. So then we bring him home and we say, okay, you know, you've lost privileges for this, this, or this, you know, because of what you did. And we just impose our, <coughs> our own consequences at home and we hope that he's gonna get it. But every kid at doesn't. some point takes something that isn't theirs, right? Right. right. I mean, every kid, if, when you were a child, if you, if you took something that wasn't yours, either from another kid or at school or somewhere, raise your hand, four, five, six, you are such a liar, you, raise your <laughs> hand. Okay, all right, now everybody, some, most people at some point, they'll pick up something that wasn't theirs, but we're talking about a lot here. Right. Uh, he has stolen, according to you guys, numerous CDs from department stores, mm -hmm. movies, DVDs. He's used your credit card to make purchases yes. on like iTunes, mm -hmm. uh, Amazon, airsoft guns mm -hmm. and the pellets that go with them, large amounts of candy, five pound bag of sour gummy worms and yes. bulk food, mm -hmm. souvenirs from hotel gift shop, pin knives, pocket watches, sunglasses. I mean, it just goes on and right, on right. and on. You've taken him to 40 or 50 psychologists, psychiatrists, physicians. He's been evaluated, he's been given tests. Yep. And you say yeah. all they've done is tell you PDD and OS, mm -hmm. pervasive developmental disorder, not otherwise specified, right. and ADHD. Right. right. You say and that's all you're getting out right, of it. Right, that's well, all. That's we... actually a lot, by the way. Right. You, you talk about that like, no, they didn't tell us anything. No, they told you a lot when they tell you that. Right. The question is just, what do you do with it? Exactly. There's no plan on how to help him Impulse. have better self-regulation and impulsivity control. He has no guilt when he steals. Not in the moment, no. 